guys, it's Rachel, and today I am telling you guys about my piercings. I am so freaking excited to be filming. I haven't filmed in so long, and I just, I'm so excited. So, on October 11th, I got my tragus and my conch pierced, and this is also called an orbital. It depends on where you go, I guess. This is the picture of my piercings right when I got it done so this is my on my Instagram but yeah those are my piercings and as you can see on the conch um, there's a ball on the back and there's a tragus and yeah so if you want to see those they're on my Instagram and my Instagram is down below so First of all, I just have um, my first and second holes, and then my, oh, just punched myself, basically. Okay, my, um, my tragus and my conch. These two I got done, um, October 11th. So I went there, and I was kind of nervous, I don't know. Um, they each were $50, um, and I got them done on the same day. I had to bring my birth certificate, my driver's license, and my mom had to bring her driver's license because um, they are like a professional place and they wanted to make sure that she was actually my guardian. So I gave them that and they said it was fine. So then we went back into the room and my piercer's name was Eli and he started with my tragus and he cleaned it off. So he clamped it and he stabbed her through and it wasn't even really that bad like I feel like I'm kind of good with pain because I know it's something I'm going to like the only thing that hurt really on the tragus was when he had like the clamp on and he had to like turn my ear like my um my tragus like this way so he could like shove it through and you know um so that was like the only thing that hurt on that one and then he did my conch and on this one, it was a little bit more painful, I would say. Um, obviously, it's like my entire like freaking ear cartilage. So he told me it was probably going to make some popping noises or like crunching noises. And I don't think it did, but um, it was a little painful, not going to lie. It took a while for him to get the earring in and that's what really hurt. Like it actually took a while and then he had to clamp the ring together onto the ball. So it did take a little while and that's what made it hurt. So I can't really give like the classic like rating out of 10 like everyone else does because I feel like I have a different pain tolerance than other people obviously. I got two done at once so he said that like it's natural and my body like might go into shock or whatever like just because you know you just got two things stabbed through your ears so I had to lay down because I was getting a little dizzy but I was like fine I even drove I drove and then I, I went to dance right after that but um so after that um I paid and then he took pictures of them and then I left also just some side facts they both take five to six months to heal and that's fine with me I really don't care and I have to clean it one to two times a day, which I clean them too, um, with like a saline salt water solution. I got this from the dollar store and it's just simply saline, like just Arm & Hammer classic. And it was only, it was like a little bit over five, but I use it day and night and I just use um, a Q-tip and I just put it on and, you know do the jazz and they're really healing quickly and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I have three like horror stories about my piercings so those are going to be exciting. Okay so first of all I was in gym class and I had my ears pierced for maybe a week or so and um we were playing soccer and I like was just standing there because I don't do gym and my friend James, like I love James and I'm not mad at him because he didn't do it on purpose, but um, he like literal full force ran body checked into my like self and of course it smashed this ear um, and uh, my freaking ball on the back, like it's um, a ring and ball 
clamp thing and the ball fell out and I didn't know it fell out. I just was in sh extreme pain. I like started crying and I it started bleeding and it was bleeding like all day, but it it was fine, but um I didn't know the ball fell out till the end of the period. Um, and that was only like fourth period, so I had to go through the whole entire rest of the day and cheer in my pep rally, um, without a ball. And my earring almost came out and I was basically like having a panic attack all day. It was the worst thing ever. It was so bad. So I went after school back to the place and they just put a new ball on and he was like, just be really careful, like you can't be doing that. And I was like, I know, I'm sorry. So, yeah, that happened. The other, like, it was, like, a week or two ago in history class, um, I can't really, like, I don't know, this kid, um, my friend Steven, like, I love Steven to death, but he's just a little aggressive sometimes, and, uh, I don't really want to tell the full story because it's, like, so totally weird, was demonstrating something, and he, like, punched me, like, backhand punched me in my ear, um, that was really hurt like hell. I started crying in class, but like, you know, I kept I kept it like really silent because I'm not gonna like cry in front of everyone and like so it started bleeding, um but it, it was fine, like in the end it just hurt like all day and everything and I was like really upset. But like it got really red and irritated, but it was fine after that. So then after those ones, um, I was at dance. This was like last week, um and my hair like got caught on my tragus piercing and I just thought it was like fine like it just it just hurt and I didn't want to touch it because I was like touching the ground and stuff all night um, because I was dancing and so I was like okay I'll just wait till I get home make sure it's tight and everything will be fine so I got home I washed my hands and then I went to go twist it to make sure it was on and the ball came out and the earring came out and I Again, had like a basical, basical, that's a word, uh, like a sh basic stroke, um, heart attack, um, because I, lit my literal ear <laughs> fell out, okay, and I, I, my mom was downstairs and I screamed to her, I was like, mom, you need to come up here right now, and I was like crying and screaming, I thought it wasn't gonna go back in, we literally had like flashlights, like my mom was like shoving it back, it was so bad, it was so funny, and then I was like shaking and I was trying to put the ball back on, it was so scary, I literal, I don't even think anything like more could go wrong, but my ears are healing so well for what they went through, like I am not kidding, I am so happy with how they turned out, and I really, <laughs> really love my earrings. If you're thinking about getting your ears pierced, um, either one of these piercings, I really would recommend them. They honestly didn't hurt that bad, like I'm, I don't really care about pain, like everyone's like, oh my god, did it hurt, and I'm like, it doesn't really matter, but I don't know how you react to pain, so whatever. I really love my piercings and I've had them for a month now and they've literally gotten like basically abused so and they're perfectly fine. I just clean them twice a day and they were each $50 so it was 100 bucks and I really really love them. I'm so happy I got them and they just are so cute and I love them. So um yeah I feel like I covered everything if I didn't and ask me in the comments down below because I always answer everyone's comments um give this video a thumbs up if you uh, thought this was funny or I don't know just crazy um or if you liked it and if you want to you can subscribe to my channel um that would be super cool um and yeah um thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you next time bye